Look at that Sephora. At first blush, Marseille Martin appears to be like any other team, wowed by the bright lights of New York's Times Square. Look at this. Oh my God. Until a moment like this reminds us all of just how big this 14-year-old really is. I can't breathe. Marseille's meteoric ascent to the iconic billboards of Times Square yeah. largely started when she landed the role of Diane, the mischievous twin on ABC's hit show, Blackish. Not long after the show premiered five years ago, the then 10-year-old actress pitched the idea for a movie. How does that work? At 10 years old, you decide, I'm just going to sashay into Universal Studios and pitch a movie. Well, it's, it's longer than that. It's like a longer <laughs> process. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> but uh, no, it wasn't just me, since it was like Tracy Oliver and Kenya Barris was in there. They kind of like guided, uh, guided me to what I should say. I wish you were little. What she said <gasps> sold them on the idea of doing a body swap movie in the black Jesus called Little. Your body can't fit into my clothes. This is squats. This is Pilates. That body looks like Baby Gap, Jimboree, Oshkosh Bagash to me. <laughs> She not only landed herself a starring role, but earned herself the title of the youngest executive producer of a studio film ever. How does that feel? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy to hear the title. It's, it's nuts, because when my parents told me, I was like, nah, you lying. <laughs> I was like, there, are, there was way more before me, stop. Me being a little black girl and being 14, of course that doesn't happen all the time. So. I feel like I'm not doing this. This is just... regardless of color. This is just Yeah, okay. this is just in general, yes. you know? And it's great that it happens to be me. Little is a tribute to Tom Hanks' classic movie, Big. Oh. With a modern twist. How did you go from this to this? You went to bed grown and then you woke up little. But that's for white people, because black people don't have the time. Marseille shares a role with Regina Hall. You better stop quivering that lip. They both play Jordan Sanders. Are you awake? Yeah, no, I was awake. I was just meditating. Wake up! A tech executive who inspires fear in all she encounters. So when would I sleep? When I'm not calling. I mean, am I being unreasonable? I'm single, but not looking. Playing the role of Jordan's assistant is Issa Rae, the creator of HBO's hit show, Insecure. What was the set like of, of Little? Because it was kind of all black everything, right? I mean, actors, directors, producers, all around. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful yeah. set, and we just all felt comfortable, lots of laughter, lots of understanding. And no, that's not typical. You know, just being on other sets where I've been like, what? This is crazy. Like, no one made any kind of effort to make sure that behind the scenes there were more women, there were more people of color. Marseille is now hoping to change the normal pushing for more representation in the industry. It's Marseille, and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, Genius Productions. She's even started her own production company, Genius Productions. Marseille's mother, Carol, says she knew her daughter had it even as a baby, even before she started belting out Beyonce as a six-year-old. How did you know when you had this little girl, right? She does her first commercial at five. I have a star on my hands. You know what? I didn't know star. I just knew big personality, and I knew that talent. Mm -hmm. Like, I can really, really see that, like, she had a gift. Marseille Martin! Black now she's sharing that gift with the world. She just won two NAACP Image Awards. And her makeup tutorials on Instagram have garnered nearly a million followers. She is very mature, but she is also very much, you know, a kid. So as a mom, are you very conscious of putting limits and saying no still? Absolutely. I mean, I'm still a mom. It doesn't matter that, you know, she has almost a million followers on Instagram or whatever. The momming doesn't change because of that. So there's, you know, she's a regular teenager. So there's nails. That's, that's a... A challenge. She wants to get acrylics, and that's not really a thing yet. So we do press on nails. We find a, a happy medium. Do you feel like you're still just a typical, regular old 14-year-old girl? Yeah. I mean, 
I still talk about regular things, you know. I talk about boys. I talk about, a, I talk about the regular things that you You're know, out there like bike riding. <laughs> <laughs> Both Marseille and Ray say they want to create narratives that represent Black women in a more multifaceted way. We're not just one person. We're not just one personality. Um, I think that was a source of so much frustration for a while. That's why it's important to, to just show our nuances and all their glory. And I think both of us are committed to telling those stories that, that reflect that. When I was growing up, I, well, I'm still growing up, but when I was like, when I was like small, small, uh, there was like one black girl on TV and you know, she was known as like the sassy one with the tutu and saying mm -hmm, all the time, you know, so for me, I, I thought that's how they saw us and so I feel like this was very important for us to tell our story and who we are as people. At just 14, she's already taken control of her own narrative and then some. And while she may be little, she's already a boss. I read once that someone asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you said a legend. Yeah, I was small. Mm -hmm. I was tiny when I said that, but I still stick to it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.